Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Trevor Oliver, accompanied by his grandfather, Mr. Jack Atkins. <clears throat> Good morning, and uh, thank you to everyone who has spoken before me today, everyone down here in front. I can't thank you enough for making it easier on me. <laughs> and uh, uh, General McConnell, especially, thank you very much. Uh, you know, Secretary Esper, again, meeting you today was a tremendous honor, and I'm very happy I got to have a conversation with you, as well as uh, Norquist as well. I, I appreciate our conversation we had as well. It was very sweet. Um, Thank you to all of my uh, father's fellow soldiers, anyone who even knew of him to an extent. Your kind words over this week and over the entire time since you've known me, they've, they've made it very, very easy on me and made it very easy for me to get over this and make me feel at home and make me feel like a family with you guys. You, you mean the world to me and I hope you guys know that. Um, Let's see. I didn't have a lot of time to spend with my dad. It was a it was a shorter time, but uh, it was a very very valuable time. He taught me just about everything that he could about the outdoors, whether it be hunting, fishing. He was uh, he was a very outdoorsy guy, and he made sure I I took that with me. Uh, most of my time with him were uh, during our visits in Montana. I would go out there about uh, twice a year during the summer and during the winter. And we would get up to all sorts of trouble, whether it was the winter snowmobiling or going out and shooting gophers, something like that. We we loved uh, we loved spending time out in the out in the wilderness and just with each other. It was a, it was an incredible time with him. Um, we loved shooting ranges. We loved target practice. I, I still would say today I'm a better shot than him. <laughs> and uh, you know he was an incredible marksman, and he taught me everything I know about rifles and safety. And, and he was an incredible, incredible inspiration when it came to that. Um, like I said, during our winter, we would uh, snowmobile and go out in the mountains to places that no one else sees with the. With the places we would go, we would climb things that we were not supposed to be climbing on our snowmobiles and go in places that a lot of people would not go. And uh, he was uh, a total adrenaline junkie when it came to the snowmobile. He, he loved going way too fast on that thing. He, uh, the snowmobile I have is uh, as well, it was his before he passed away. I can't tell you how long he spent on that thing, but he spent way too much time making that thing go faster than it was supposed to. <laughs> So yeah, as a as a little kid, if I would get on that thing and put it straight down, it would flip me. It would flip you straight back. So it's not not a toy. <laughs> and uh, those were the most precious memories I have of him: the winter and the snowmobiling memories. Those were the ones that I remember the most out of everything. Uh, it's funny how those memories stick. I we ditched we uh, we left him in a snowbank. He was way too far up. We couldn't get to him, so we left him out there. And he dug himself up, and uh, he came to the Meadow Creek Lodge, which, which is a restaurant you can only get to by snowmobiling. And uh, he came in black, blue, and purple, and shaken, and all he could muster up to say was coffee. <laughs> and uh, so that's, that's the strength I always remember. He, he was always able to do it himself, and he was a very independent and strong person. And that's something I try to take with me every day, and I hope I emulate a little bit of him out here today, because that's what I'm trying. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he was, uh, he was an absolute funny, sweet, amazing guy. He was, he was hard. He was a very tough, tough man, but the funniest, the sweetest and loving, passionate person out there. He can make the whole room laugh just by walking in and smiling. That's the kind of person he was. He was, uh, he was an absolute, absolute loving and caring man. And, uh, Travis took pride in being an amazing father and in being an amazing soldier. Uh, being a soldier was his life, and he was the blueprint of an amazing soldier. And uh, I thank him for that, and I, I'm eternally thankful for him. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.